I see a side quest. Hey, where you where are you going in such a hurry? That is the slowest walk. Uh, well, this is it. It's time to put up or shut up. I made a deal with my dad. If I can pass all my classes with an 80% or better, I can make art again. All I've got to do is cram like there's no tomorrow, even though I never get better than the class average. Um, good luck. Good luck, yeah. Thanks, I'll do my best. Ah, I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? Well, the thing is, I don't have enough materials for this piece of art I'm trying to make. Do you know where I can find a high-speed gear? I might know. Really? Does that mean you'll get it for me? I'll make sure you don't regret it. Please, I'm counting on you. Alright, acquire a high-speed gear. Do you have any... Uh, good luck. Mechanical uh, something wheel. Something that looks like a mechanical wheel in an industrial-looking place. So yeah, okay. uh, Naoto's uh, the military base. Yeah. So, raining again, so... We're gonna Aya? Be... Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's the only... Do you want to check uh, Samagawa just in case, though? Yeah, let's see if uh, <laughs> the person for that cat quest is out. I wonder what we've got to do for that, though. Uh, first, let me check the actual riverbank. So, welcome back, guys. I'm Kong Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And we're three quarters of the way to a hundred episodes of this gosh darn Let's Play. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah, and it doesn't... I never feel like it's dragging. This game just has such a satisfying gameplay loop. Uh, great balls of Akidine? Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. I was... I don't think this is the guy. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we gotta come here during a not rainy day. Probably. So at the live concert at Juness, Naoto-san's keyboard skills were amazing. But the fact that he was in the same band with Risei Kujikawa, maybe they are in a close relationship after all. What unsettling rain. It's even drowning my enthusiasm. Alright, so nothing yet. It's been raining a lot lately. Yeah, kind of a... Uh, kind of dampening what we can get done. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Um, probably not any new books. Hey, isn't that, isn't that Taro? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is Taro. Ayumi, I can only do my best. This is all I can do for her. This is the least I can do. So, um, I think... Namatame. I mean, there's got to be something big with him. There's got to be something really big with him. He's like the he's like one NPC with like an actual portrait. So. Yeah, and we've spent no time around him. Like he's gonna he's gonna be an essential case of the mystery. All right. Well, for now, Beef Bowl. I don't think he's the killer or anything. You just passed it. Right. Uh. All right, so what can we get here? We still need diligence, understanding, and courage. Understanding your limits, knowledge, diligence, etc. Understanding, understanding increase, knowledge, Absolutely. diligence. Not bad. Okay, we still can't get it quite where we need it, though. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there, though. Every step is one step closer. Yeah. But goodness gracious, this is taking a while. Man, all for this... Uh, oh, she went shopping today that's purchased full of food. She work as a janitor at the hospital. Oh, and... she's available. You have your Uriel. It's not ready to advance yet. Yeah. Yeah, the, these last few are going to be a little bit difficult. Um, do you want to make food? Yeah, I guess so. You open the fridge. Yes. And what can we make? Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make croquettes. Ooh, croquettes, croquettes are delicious. Decided to make croquettes. Put flour, egg, then panko on the ingredients. And how hot should the oil be? Uh... Oh, that's tough. I have no idea about this one. For croquettes? Um, croquettes are potatoes. Are they? If they're potatoes, I think you can turn it up pretty high. 
But this is talking about the seasoning. I'm not gonna look this up. Um, see, this is the kind of thing that if somebody asks me how I cook, I don't really know yeah. what to say. I just sort of do it. Um, Cooking is an art. It, it, it's really an art, let's be real. It's an art and a science. It is. I mean, by that extension, like, a lot of arts are sciences in such a way. Yeah. Like, mixing paints is just chemistry. Yeah, so I think the answer is high, because it is potatoes, and you can... They're gonna take a while to fry, and you kind of have to fry the hell out of them. Hang on. Oh, you got it. Too late. It's frying well. It came out perfectly. Oh, okay. It looks delicious. So yeah, you, I, you didn't even need me to come up with that one. Oh no, I looked really quickly on my phone. I, oh, you, you actually yeah. looked up the actual thing? Yeah. No, oh. no, I have the actual Persona guide here. Oh, okay, there you go. That, that's what I was wondering. Obtain, yeah, there's a really easy table on some websites of what the answers are for every food. Uh-huh. But, um, obtained cr crunchy croquette. I do feel good knowing that my initial instinct was right, though. Yeah. But I'm glad I checked it anyway. Uh-huh. Well, when you fry something, you generally want it at a high heat, right? Yeah, it... It depends more on what you want the consistency of the outside to be. But potatoes take so long to cook. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, you overheat... Like, think about when you're making... When they're making french fries in restaurants. Like, that stuff's... Like... Mm -hmm. I, I've, Dude, I've made mashed potatoes before, and, like, those things take a long time to boil. It's like the center of the sun, the oil they make french fries in. Uh-huh. So you overhear students talking. Ugh. Midterms start tomorrow. But it feels so lazy... I can't believe you're so hardcore about studying for the exam, senpai. Are you sure you're not gonna need to- you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future? Dude, I feel you. Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me? Especially this early in the morning? Whatever. After exams, we had the culture festival. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. Oh, the culture festival. Oh, God. They, that That is an event as well. Oh, boy. On the subject of, like, what you're actually going to need in school, all I can think of is um, in John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, that whole song about the, like, like, if I had known algebra, I would still have my eye. Uh, don't even get me started with that, dude. That that was one, That was a trip when you had, like, Amber and I watched that. Uh... If, if you have access to Netflix, uh, John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, I recommend it. It's really hilarious, but it's also kind of cringe-worthy, but in a good way. It's, it's, a, it's a very weird kind of humor. Um, anyway, who would you like to invite for lunch? Uh, who do we still need to... Well, we just, um, we just increased with Chie, right? Maybe she would be the best one. Yeah, because that could, uh help us slingshot her to the next level. We could also we could also hang out with Yumi because like we don't really need a reason to we don't have a reason to go to yeah. we don't have a reason to go to drama club anymore, but maybe this would could be our way to like forward her. That's a very good point. Wait, where is Yumi? There she is. Wow, she was very bottom of the list. I think it might be in alphabetical order maybe. Like besides besides your actual like, you know, yeah, it's an order that you got your party members in, and then it's everybody else in alphabetical order. I think so, yeah. Uh, you also got me a high rooftop. You ate lunch with Yumi. You ate crunchy croquette together. Oh, this is tasty! Wow, this is so good! It's definitely better than a microwave dinner. I think I like men who know how to cook. Do you think you could make something for me next time, too? Thanks a bunch! You enjoyed your lunch. There it is! Ha <laughs> ha! You know, they say that, like, you know, the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That is true of anybody. Yeah, let's be real for a moment. I say that a lot, I've noticed. This, uh, Kashiwagi face, though, wow. Uh. So there's a teacher here who tried to put a pro problem on the test involving a student's bust weight hip measurements. I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school teacher's measurements? High school girls. Oh, a high school girls' measurements. Oh, that's even more screwed up. Um... It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? Uh, but man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. You're you're the worst. You're actually the worst. I, like I, I I argue that she's probably worse than King Moron it, because at least King Moron kind of cared, kind of. A little bit, yeah. He was just awful to everybody, but yeah. Um, I can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. But it's the hypo it's the hypocrisy with Kashiwagi, I think. Yeah, it really is. 
Uh, by the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's a cute little fish called the Ojis Ojisan. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess that's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. I, I guess that joke makes more sense in Japanese. It does. Oh, Kamakun, were you listening to what I just said? What kind of fish was I just talking about? Ojisan. Ojisan. Uh, you gave the answer you think is correct. I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the goat fish, but it's commonly called the Ojisan. It's called that because it has whiskers and looks just like a middle-aged man. You don't mean because it looks like a goat? Okay. Um, I mean, goats kind of do look like middle-aged men with, with the beards. Yeah. I guess, like, then why not call it the old man fish? I don't know. I want you to remember that, so I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. Good to know. You gave the correct answer. I love when teachers do that, but, like, you might want to write this down. Hey, at, like, yeah, all things considered, like, that's a good indication. That's basically their way of, like, telling you, hey, remember, this is going to be on the test. Yeah, I love when, I love when teachers do that. All right, so it's not raining today? Uh, looks like not. So, uh, Yumi doesn't want to hang out, though. Oh, Kamakun, was there practice today? Oh, wait, we're on break because of the test. I forgot about that. She's still not feeling all too great. So, yeah, um, the clubs are on break because of classes. I don't see Yosuke anywhere. Yeah, Yosuke was in the classroom, so he's not available either. Then what can we do during the day here? Yukiko's available, but again, we're maxed out with her. Oh, uh, you, you got it. Oh, Kamakun. Um... Thank you for saving me. Uh huh. I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. Nato seems absorbed in thought about something. You didn't have the courage to oh, ask her Oh, we need courage. I, everybody was telling me you need knowledge. Huh. What? Go into the bathroom real quick. I'm curious about something. Uh, you use the time to reflect. Tests are coming up soon. Maybe you should study so you're well prepared. We, so we, we, the bathroom is just like generally like advice. I yes. Guess. Well, Yukiko's available, but again, we're maxed out with her. Yeah. Um, in the comics, is there anything I would still gain from spending regular free time with Yukiko? That's a yeah. That would be good to know. So, cause like I do want to spend time with Yukiko because you know she's kind of the yeah, girlfriend, girlfriend now. Hi, Teddy. Oh, Sensei. The people here are so nice. Every time I come, they give me snacks. Like just now, they said, I'll give you this if you just go away. Where am I supposed to go, though? Do you want to go somewhere with me? Oh, you can invite Teddy for the motorcycle thing. Oh, okay. Um, You know, I'm just interested enough to do it. Let's... Um, Did we max out with... um? Yeah, we finished Marie. We, we, fixed, we finished Marie, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go to the hot springs with Teddy? Sure. <laughs> Ooh, the hot springs. That sounds like a very mature kind of trip. After we get out of the bath, we can have we can we have to do a toast with fruit milk and topsicles, of course. Yeah, um, very mature, Teddy. Yeah. It'll be nice and toasty with you, Sensei. I can't wait. You decided to go out with Teddy. Hey, I'm 30 years old and I have a whole bunch of popsicles in my fridge right now. <laughs> Do you still <laughs> don't have rollerblades? Do you still have all those like apple turnovers? Too? Yes, I think I did. I tell the apple turnover story. Um, I don't. I don't know if you did on the channel, but go right ahead. Um, after this, after this. <sighs> this is perfect. Ugh. My skin is my skin is going to glow from soaking in these hot springs. I'm going to look so much younger. I want to bring Kanji here. Yeah. I bet Kanji would have a good time. Wait. How old am I, anyway? That's a good question! That's, that's, I was just wondering that, yeah. You enjoyed the hot springs with Teddy. You feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation with Teddy. What will you talk about? Um, so I know you get new abilities if you talk about the future. I don't know what happens if you talk about your memories. You recall a forgotten ability. Right, okay, then let's talk about the future. Huh? Future? Future? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Bless you. Ah, okay. Is that like a special pitcher? Like a big future of lemonade? Hmm? No? Hmm, the future. It sounds difficult. 
You decide to speak with Teddy about the future. Something changed inside of Teddy. Dekunda. Dekunda um, nullifies all bonuses on uh, on the enemy. No, nullifies penalties. On oh, the stat party. penalties. Oh, okay. So it's like if you're like if your uh, stuff got like lowered in some way, then you can like reset them with Dekunda. Yeah. Which honestly, I don't. I think I honestly find kind of like redundant because we already have like the uh, the Rakukaja and the uh, and the Rakukaja ability. Yeah. So Do you think we should pass on it? I think we should pass on it because Ice Boost is good on Teddy because he still has a good magic stat. All right. You spent time with Teddy until it got dark and then went home. Have you ever been to a hot spring? No. I've been I've been in a hot tub, but never in a spring. Yeah, I've been in like public hot tubs. Welcome back. Uh huh. Uh, you can work as a janitor at the hospital today. That we do need courage. Yeah, that's true. Oh wait, what? Yeah. Did he has to go about to go to Juness? This actually might be a good idea. I missed that, but yeah, we're gonna go with him, whatever it is. Yep. Uh, Juna's grocery department. You came shopping with Nanako and Dojima. Every day is great at your Juna's. Always cute. Nanako is enjoying herself. Uh, did you want something, Big Bro? Go oh. ahead and get whatever you. Oh, okay. sorry. Go ahead and get whatever you want. But make it quick. Uh, you decide to purchase something that caught your eye. Royal jelly. Oh, cool. Oh. Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Ah. Uh. Hmm? Alright. I'll go take Nana to go to the bathroom, so wait here with her things. Yeah, we've done this before, going to Juno's. Yeah. Them. You see Rise and Nauto? A little ways off from where you are. They don't seem to notice you. You hear them talking to each other. You know, sometimes I think to myself that I'm completely powerless. I'm not good at fighting. I don't know the first thing about my own hometown. And I'm not even good at putting things together like you, Nautakun. All I have is a little fame, and that's not helping us when it comes to the case. Well... What are you talking about? The rest of us can fight as well as we do because we have you supporting us. I just think my power would have been much more useful in your hands, not mine. I see how you would think that, because Naoto's the super analytical one. Mm hmm But I feel like Risei's a good judge of character. Risei not only has a... Not, not only is a good judge of character, she's also got the presence to make yeah. effect of those kinds of abilities. And I feel like that has a different kind of application in the TV world than in the yeah. real world. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, I'm not... I'm not surprised at all that you awaken to that persona. Huh? I may be a skilled logical thinker, but I'm on shaky ground when it comes to the subtleties of people's emotions. You, however, are very sensitive to such things. They never elude your grasp. I sometimes think that you may be the most sensitive of, of us all. <laughs> Without a doubt, no one could wield that persona as well as you. Now, Takoon, I'm sorry. I was giving you an earful just now, wasn't I? All right. I'm gonna eat some spicy stuff and fire myself up. Ever since I debuted, that's what that's been a habit of mine. Whenever I'm feeling low, I wolf down some spicy food. I feel that. Ah, I see. So that's why. <laughs> Risa and Nauto leave. Oh man, that brings back a memory. I like how Nauto was just like, oh, that's why you eat sp spicy food. Like Nauto just like stored that away. So from now on, Nauto is going to observe that whenever she's eating spicy food. Wait a minute. Is that why her omelet was super goddamn spicy? Yeah, because that's what she likes to eat. Wow! Yeah. So no wonder. And she thought we were ridiculous for not picking hers because she thought her omelet was so good. Oh my god, that explains it. Yeah. I didn't even consider that. I, I do feel what she feels, though, when it comes to like eating something spicy to help yourself feel better. I actually did that once. So, first of all, the... Ah, midterms. Yeah, that's a thing. So while we're doing midterms, um, Apple Turnover Story. Yeah, uh, 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 Dylan, you know our friend Dylan. Yeah, uh, after this. Uh, uh, I don't think we're gonna get a good downtime to tell this turnover story. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going, though. Oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get, did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? 
Um, <laughs> what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Me? I actually haven't studied at all, not this time. How much do you think I would study? Ugh. If I'm gonna die, at least I'll go down fighting. Just like Ryoma Sakamoto. Wait. Was that Shin Seng Yumi? Ryoma Sak Sakamoto. How- why do I suddenly feel like this is a uh, precursor to Ryuji Sakamoto? Is it? I don't know. I thought maybe she was referring to, like... A character, or like someone she was supposed to have studied. More than likely. Um, the Adam's apple is in the throat. Yep. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Foreign from here, you right find side. it on the right side of the map. Yep. You feel you've chosen the correct answer? So speaking of apples! Oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're not, are we going to get a chance here? Uh, Dylan was one of the few people with a key to our apartment. Uh -huh. uh, midterms day two. We, we're, we're just like we're, we're going to sprinkle it across this midterms. It, like it's like we cinnamon on a fresh apple turnover. Uh huh. We know these answers. Uh, how short was history's shortest? War? Forty minutes. Forty minutes. Feel you chosen the correct answer. Uh, venison is what kind of animal? So it's not just deer. It is all of the, all above. the above. Wait, 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 wait. They tried to pull a fast one on us. I don't think wild boar was... I no, I thought it was any kind of hunting animal. Are we sure about this? Well, no, but... Let, let, me, let me double check while you tell the story. Because the whole thing was I said deer, and he said, well, yeah. it's not just deer. Yeah, but I don't think wild boar was a part of that. Go for it. Okay. Um, yeah, so a uh, friend of Dylan's had a, has a sister who works a food truck and had to get rid of apple turnovers, so had asked Dylan if he wanted them. Uh, Dylan happens to have a key to our apartment in case of emergencies, so... Uh, he snuck into our apartment one morning without telling us and filled our freezer with boxes and boxes of 144 apple turnovers so that we just kind of went to the freezer and it was a wall of apple turnovers and half of them are still there and this was like six months ago. They're still good though, right? They are still good, yeah. I mean, they're frozen. They'll keep yeah, they are frozen, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that was the story of the apple turnovers and it is above all of the above. Just, okay. I did double check, so yeah, you're, you're we're good there. Uh, you feel you've chosen the correct answer. So yeah, um, I don't know, just boar for some reason, like, resonated with pork with me. Yeah, no, I, I, I get pigs. what you're saying, yeah. But I get, I guess the point is that it's just like really gamey meat. Yeah, it, it no, boar, boar is pretty damn gamey. It's just like, I think the only type of meat, it, like I could be wrong here, but I think the only other kind of meat that's tougher than boar is bear. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me, Yosuke. Do you want to make a study group today? We've got four more days of exams. Uh, why not? Let's hang out yeah, with sure. people. Oh, yeah. Cool. Don't forget it. You made plans for today. Uh, so should I share the spicy food story that I had that one time? Oh, is there a story? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, um, maybe th when we get back to yeah, this is an old. They're gonna... Yeah, this is an old story, but <laughs> it is an interesting one. It's getting to be a custom for us to meet up like this. But that aside, can I borrow your notes? <laughs> Borrowing notes is getting to be a custom, too. All right, let's get started. But first, I want a melon soda. Is that your way of saying you'll lend me your notes if I buy you a melon soda? Could be. <laughs> hmm, Yosuke-san and Chie-san seem to get along well. Why don't you two date? Never. Hey, you... That was quick. <laughs> You too, Natakun. You could go out with Kanji. Huh? <laughs> Please stop it. <laughs> and I'll go out with Senpai. Aw, how cute. Hey, Senpai, wouldn't Kanji and Natakun make a good couple? Hell yeah. I mean, normally I wouldn't say anything like this because I don't want to make other people uncomfortable, but, but yeah, I, I would say yeah before I would say no way. Yeah. And actually, yes, I Senpai. do think they'd make a cute couple. <laughs> Come now, comic senpai. That's enough, guys. Let's get back to studying. Hey! Promises to be an entertaining day. Interestingly enough, Kanji's not with us. Uh, Yosuke is going to become closer soon. Risei is going to become closer. Cool! 
Conti's completely given up on studying. He's like, whatever, man. He's go he's trying to find the penguin in the animal crackers. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't make any progress with your studies, but you spent a fun afternoon with the group. I mean, we don't need it. Yeah. You're back. Uh are you available? So, while we're harvesting yeah. these veggies, Go for um it. So the whole story of eating spicy food to make yourself feel better actually happened to me while I was in at Temple University in Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. I was good. dating this uh, one girl named Vanessa, who my friend Sade introduced me to, and like it was nice, like we were hitting it off, like um, I actually met her at a, at the bar during my 23rd birthday, and it was really fun, right? But it got to a point where um, we were dating for a little while, but. Somewhere down the line, I invited her out to eat, right? We were going to go get, like, some food at a, uh, at a nice restaurant in, uh, in Philadelphia. So I showed up at the place. Well. An hour passes. Another hour passes. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I tried calling her, but no answer. But eventually, I got a text saying that, uh, she... Hey. Got back together with her ex. So Wait, I, so she didn't meet you at this place because she had gotten back together with her ex? Yeah, and she texted me about this, so basically I got stood up. Yeah, that's very stood up. Yeah. That is very rude. So what happened afterwards is I was I was pissed off, obviously. Like I did I wasn't happy. This was Oh it it will advance. Yeah. Okay, so real quick. Um I can uh, nice. finish this real quick. So what happened is, like, I felt bad. I felt, like, you know, cheated out. Like, this was kind of uncool. Yeah. I called up Patty. He and I were, like, he was, like, oh, man, that sucks, dude. Uh, do you want to go get ramen or something? And I was, like, yes, absolutely, let's go get ramen. So we went to this place called Hero Ramen in um, in uh, Philadelphia. He got what's known as the uh, Hero's Inch of Heaven, which is their signature dish. I got a bowl that's called the Gates of Hell. Oh, which, I remember this now. Yeah. Yep, which is, the, uh, which is their spicy bowl of ramen that is spiked with, with the broth is spiked with chili powder it was the spiciest thing i've ever eaten but it was delicious and it made me feel better because i was like oh this like all this passion and like all this anger in me i'm gonna burn it out of my back burn it out with like by burning my own mouth with this really really spicy ramen and it was delicious huh so that 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 was that story that sounds like a as good as any you know i watch uh, the show hot ones sometimes on youtube yeah where yeah, yeah, get yeah celebrities yeah. to eat increasingly hot hot wings uh-huh um and one thing they say a lot is one of the best things to do to deal with spicy food is eat or drink something with a different flavor profile um you know don't just drink water but if you have something like milk or if you even have something that's sour Mm -hmm. uh, just a completely different flavor can kind of neutralize that. Yeah, didn't they say that Dojima would advance? Yeah. Yeah, let's go hang out with Dojima. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just bumping around a little bit. But yeah, so... Um, so, if you think about it that way, spice is a very, like, intense and hot flavor, and you were feeling a very sad and somber emotion. So in a way, you could kind of do it in reverse, and you could use spice to take the curve off of sadness. Yeah, like get that bad taste out of your mouth. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, no, I, I can understand that. Gotta Though, wash that girl right out of your hair. Uh-huh. Though spice isn't really a flavor, it's a pain. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, we are that bored. All right, here we go. It's a flavor, though. Dojima is staring intently at something. It looks like data about cars. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, but... My hands are full here. Uh, <laughs> buying a new car. I'm gonna offer him some coffee. <laughs> That's my job. Don't worry about it. Dojima is smiling wryly. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about this when talking with Nanako just now, but... I feel like she's changed a bit lately. I don't know how to put it. She's stronger. I feel like I'm being left behind. Ever since you came, this house has become, well, homey. The house isn't just a big box. It's a place for a family to live together. Laughing, crying, fighting, spending most of your lives together. A warm place. I forgot what that was like. I wanted to get that 
I wanted to get that back more than anything. And yet I feel like I've been dodging it the whole time. Do you understand why? Uh... Because of Nanako? I think it is because of Nanako, because remember... Mm -hmm. That's right. In a weird way, this is for her. Like He, he, he likes he, to think. He, he wants to... Like, he does absolutely care about Nanako. In fact, like, she is probably the most important thing to him ever. But it's painful for him because Nanako is the spitting image of his wife. Yeah. I never thought of her feelings. Digima is smiling wryly again. We've been in the same place, but we weren't connected. You brought the two of us together. The rest is my problem. Where do I draw the line with this? He felt Dojima's quiet determination. I also kind of like how this is progressing because it's like, you get a little more of, like, Dojima, uh, or Ryotaro and Nanako kind of have the same story going on, but you yeah. get two two different sides of it as you progress through their social lengths. It's yeah, actually I know those cool. events aren't connected, but, like, doing them both at the same time is interesting. Mm -hmm. The Ryotaro, Dojima, level 8, Hierophant. <sighs> Screw this. I'm drinking tonight. Comic, you're drinking with me. Alcohol free, of course. You pass out before me, and you're under arrest. Got it? All right. <laughs> get, get some melon sodas. He drank with Dojima until he passed out and went to your room. Uh, that's also a mood. All right, so continuing with our exams. Da, ba, ba, da, da, da. What is a Japanese name for panda? Isn't it black and white bear? I think? I think it's black and white bear. I think it was black and white bear, yeah. Yep. I feel you've chosen the correct answer. Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's head in the sand? Ostrich. That would be the ostrich. They threw a chicken in there to confuse you. Yep. And... Okay, we're gonna go right to the next day. Term day four. What was the name of the Wasson textbook that came out in the Edo period? Ooh. Ooh. Um. Is it Math Girl? I think it is Math Girl. <laughs> yeah, correct answer. That one I was having trouble remembering. Okay. What did Napoleon invent? Glass, Glass jars. jars. For some reason, all I keep thinking about is in Fairly Odd Parents, where they're like, Oh, it's Napoleon's pastry! That's why his hand is always in his vest. He's holding his pastry. A Danish? Right, was it a Danish? Yeah, it was a Danish. It, it turns out, like, Cupid's time-traveling scavenger hunt is just to make him breakfast. It's a grocery list. Yeah. Uh, midterms, day five. Which season is the adjective brisk a Kigo for? That would be autumn, right? Yes. And Dragon's Blood is uh, plant resin. Yep. From uh, from the uh, uh, from the Draca plant. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were going to ask me about Dra uh, Draca. Last, Last day, day of exams. exams. You answered every question with ease. Flowing from my hand. <laughs> you, like, you notice that his handwriting got a little yeah. faster than <laughs> everyone else's? <laughs> I grab a potato chip and it's eat it. It's over. Hey, about question eight. Uh, Chia and Yukiko are completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. See you later. Uh, Yosuke left. At last, the long midterms are finally over. I like see this. I'm excited to see how he did because i'm definitely like in the top 10 or whatever but like if yeah, there's a we, like we got we got every single question right and we uh and we have max out knowledge out, yeah we have max out knowledge so so like is there a like top of the class possibility because if so i got it i could not have done that any better than i did maybe um so what do you want to do today let's practice day what 
feel your relationship with Yumi is going to become closer soon. So you want to hang out with Yumi? Uh, either Yumi or Yosuke. Um, Yosuke's not available. He went home. Right, right, right. He went home. So, so yeah, we might as well hang out with Yumi. See if we can get that going. We have Narashima as well, so... I see. Alright. I'm sorry, but you should go to practice by yourself. I have to go somewhere. I'll drop by if I can make it. Yeah, so Yumi really isn't in the drama club anymore. Uh, Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. Yeah, expression, I already have that maxed. Yumi isn't here. You decide to stop by the hospital again. What a friend Narakami is for, like, going to the hospital knowing that his friend's in desperation. Yeah. You hear Yumi's voice coming from inside. Here, open your mouth. Oh, I fell out. I didn't peel it. This fruit came from a can. You want me to cut it into smaller pieces? Are you sure? And then I'll go throw this away. Oh, we had practice today, didn't we? Yeah, we talked about it, girl. You came here because we were worried. you were worried about me? When I come to see him, he wakes up. He should be in a lot of pain, but he won't take his medicine because he says it puts him to sleep. He says because he doesn't have much longer, he wants to stay awake as long as he can, so he can see mom and me. He's so stupid. Um, I, I would feel out of line saying any of these, but... He sounded kind. I, I went with kind, personally, because that seemed the least offensive. It's, it's more like, hey, this is a nice thing for you to do for another human being. I don't need to tell her what kind of person her father is. But okay, I'll go with kind. I forgot about him all this time. No, I just didn't want to remember. That he actually was a kind man. He played with me so much when I was a child. There we go, got it. Yumi smiles, lost in memory. He waits, he waits all my life to show up all of a sudden and turn my life around. And then he's going to leave again. It's not fair. Thank you. Kamakun, thank you for coming. I'm... I'm scared. I'm scared to be alone. In that room, listening to him breathing. It's so quiet. I don't know when he's going... When he's just going to stop breathing forever. Oof. I'm glad that you came. That I was able to see your face. I... I don't know what to do, but I don't want to have any regrets later, so I'll do what I can now. It seems you were able to give Yumi some support. I feel your relationship with Yumi has deepened. Yeah, that's gotta be tough. Yeah. Oh, visiting hours are almost over. I'm going to stay here. I'll see you at school. Bye then. Yumi walked off, looking helpless. He went home. We we joined a drama club, and yet this has nothing to do with drama club. But it has a lot to do with drama. Yeah, it has a lot to do with drama, yeah. Hello. Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Nanako seems to be home now. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Is it from my parents? I used to have those. I'm sure you still have those. <laughs> the letter is addressed to Mr. To Mr. Comic Foil. <laughs> Please, Mr. Comic Foil was my father. <laughs> but the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. Ooh. Oh. Is it from a friend? My show is almost done. Don't rescue anymore. Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? You should discuss this with the group tomorrow. Oh boy. Using my ultra fast handwriting again. I'll protect you all. Oh! From the madness of this world. I'll take you to a Namatame. place... Namatame. ...where you can be at peace. Yes. 
It's much more peaceful than here. Yeah, okay, so... Namatame is the kidnapper. He is not the killer. I, I'm following you, game. Uh -huh. I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. I know that they, they didn't, like, show that as Namatame, but, like, he's the only character we have that looks remotely like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. So he didn't just, like, cut it all out of different magazines? Ha. Is this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? Uh, I don't plan to. I don't plan to. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. He will ask why you received such a letter. And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. You know, unless we just, like, like, sure, they would be surveying us, they would be watching us, so they would see us go into the TV world, but, like, would that be the worst thing? Possibly. It, would it be? What would happen if they saw we could go into the TV world? What, what are the negative ramifications of that? Uh, people going carelessly into the TV world and getting themselves killed? No one can do that, though, except for, like, me and a select few other people. That's the whole thing, is that we have this unique power. And then all of a sudden, these guys are going to be in the spotlight. I mean, that's, like, kind of annoying, but, like, people are dying. Fair. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait, every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. That's true. <laughs> this is why the Phantom Thieves all wear masks. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Um, freaking out over speculation is just what the killer I say this could come in handy. Yeah. Uh, you told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the uh, that that's the murder situation. But uh, hey, culture festival coming Back to up. school. <laughs> oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I bet my lunch on it. <laughs> hey, Senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. 
Uh, I mean, I admire her tenacity. Oh, she just had to say something. You know, Risei's a girl who knows what she wants and pursues it. I respect that. Yeah, no, I, I do like that about Risei a lot, I'll admit. And since there is not an option in this game to just tell her we're not interested, then why wouldn't she just keep trying? Mm-hmm. So, anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for today. I'm the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion! And, uh, yeah, they're telling us not to rescue anymore, but... We're, we're probably gonna. gonna do it anyway. Yep. Alright, let's keep it up, man. Alright, see you next time.